Local 10 News starts right now. Good morning, South Florida. I'm Eric Yutzi. Here's looking at your top stories on this Wednesday. Tracking Milton, the Tampa Bay area, preparing for that storm to be a major hurricane when it makes landfall. People across the region waiting in long lines for sandbags, many evacuating those on the barrier islands team being told they need to leave and that emergency services will not be available to them when the storm hits. Many people are heeding that warning and leaving altogether, leading to heavy traffic on the highways. Others are headed to county run shelters. All across Tampa Bay, debris from Hurricane Helene is still lining the streets and poses an additional danger during that storm. Here in South Florida, under a tropical storm warning, crews deployed to flood prone areas in Miami Dade and Broward counties to help clear the roadways. In some neighborhoods, flood pumps have been preemptively placed, but the National Weather Service has canceled any flood alerts for our region. That is new this morning. People are stocking up on sandbags to protect their home. The rain threat is reducing over the next few days. The wind threat, the primary issue right now for us here in South Florida. That's the very latest from the National Weather Service. Nearly 1500 gas stations already out of fuel. There are growing fears about a gas shortage in Florida, but Governor Ron DeSantis said Tuesday that's not going to happen. He said they have a fuel reserve and trucks have been dispatching fuel 24 hours a day and that fuel is still arriving at ports across Florida. They're doing their best to dispatch that fuel by land. And a woman accused of abusing a six year old with autism at a daycare center in Alapata had nothing to say when leaving jail on Tuesday night. 52 year old Marlene Caballo is facing char child abuse charges. Detectives say she forcefully made the boy sit down, flicked his ear, restrained and hit him before pushing him against a cabinet. The alleged abuse was all caught on camera. She only worked at the Inter-American Learning Center for nine days and was immediately fired. The boy has since come back to the school and is doing better. As breaking news happens, we will cover, keep you covered throughout the day on air and online. Head to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.